think there's a big wave coming. We got a bunch of stuff going on today. Right now we're going to the gym. This is one of the last days we'll be going to the gym. Are you sad? Well, there's a, a little bit, but you know, I look forward to our, our new workout plan. So it's that's awesome. kind of exciting. It is awesome. Today, uh, we're driving the Jeep right now. It goes back tomorrow. But later on, after the gym, we're going to jump in the Cadillac, at least I am. Kathy's going to be driving the Jeep. And we're going to go up, we're going to show you guys today a $17 million home in Malibu. Epic looking house. As well as going to the Murphy Museum. We're going to go to the Murphy Museum. We're going to return the Cadillac. We're going to show you guys some other cool cars. And we're preparing to go up on Thursday to Buellton for a vintage trailer bash that's being put on by the Murphy. That's going to be cool. But right now, it's gym time. Time for yep. the hurt. Time for the pain. take the Jeep back, or we could take that. Oh, gee, let me think. Walking around, minding my own business, at the gym, and there's a speedster. The only thing is my water bottle is in the Jeep, so we gotta take the Jeep. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Hillary kicks ass. I'm gonna feel it later, but I feel good right now. Yeah, you feel fine now, but in a few hours. I did have a, an interesting experience. Oh. I was working out and I saw actor Bruce Greenwood working out also, so I went over and talked to him for about 10 minutes or so. Did you vlog him? I didn't. I'm not gonna vlog him at the gym because he's all sweaty and, oh, yeah, that's you know, nice. so I did have a great conversation with him. Though we talked, we talked cars basically, and he currently drives a, a 92, um, Nissan 300Z, which is a car that I worked on while I was in school, but uh, that was kind of interesting. You expect actors, successful actors, to be driving, you know, expensive cars, and he likes that Z. That's cool. Very cool guy. It was very easy to talk to. Yeah, very he nice. Seems like a nice guy. All right, we're on. We're moving on, and we're going to go home. We're going to eat really fast, and then we're going to head up and check out this huge home. We're not doing that first. We're going to the museum first. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Home first. Come on. Super quick, awesome talkers. Look at those. Dang. Oh. Are these for me too? A side of dog bones, milk bones. Mmm. All right, back in the Cadillac. This is the last day. I'm taking the car back to the Murphy Museum up in Oxnard. Kathy's right behind me. But before we do that, we're gonna stop off at this really cool house. This place is gonna blow your mind. I am. Look at that. spend a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to spend the night here, you could do that? I mean, technically, yes. But you'd get in trouble. Um, cool aspects about this house. Uh, that there's steps to a private code. Mm -hmm. And what's the price tag on a, on a pad like this? Um, well, it's $17 million, a little bit less than $17. $16,995. Oh, that's a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Basically, that's yeah, a big, yeah. big savings. It's available now, we're just waiting to have the grand listing of the pool is ready. Right? Okay, so the pool's not done, because if it was, we'd be swimming in it. Two staircases on opposite sides of the house so you don't have to walk all the way to the other side to go down the stairs. Yeah. The 
this house is awesome. Aubrey, thank you for showing us this amazing place. That house is spectacular. We didn't get a chance to show too much of it, but we will in a later episode. Really awesome. Murphy. Look, it's David. What's up, man? This is a Frankenstein piece, but look at that color. That is awesome. And we're going to get that soon. A few body parts. I mean, yeah, there's no fenders. There's no weight to it. It has a big V8 in there, and it just flies. Did you see the shifter? Seat belts? Uh, yeah, it has, it has seat belts. Did you see the shifter? Whatever you do, do not pull this oh lever. God. Do not do that. Do not do that. Okay. It would make you go a lot faster, but just in the yeah, wrong direction. The wrong <laughs> this is Mike, the mechanic. <laughs> and, and this is what you're working on now. What is this? Uh, 25 pack. 25 packer. I think it's like a 230 something, the number. It's a one year only engine. There's the problem. And and where's the motor right now? Right there, on the floor. Right there. Packer just keep her trunk. Did you just, yeah, did you just pull that out? Did you just pull that out of there? Yeah. This is Mike, he's the mechanic here at the Murphy Museum. But I mean, you're, you got your own thing going, but you got all these other cars well, you get to play with. David is kind of let me use your space for a nominal fee. A nominal fee, but you get to play with some amazing toys. Well, here. yeah. How, how long have you been doing this? Well, over 50 years. I mean, I, my first job, real job as a mechanic with like the Edison Company, <laughs> gas and trucks and bus and tires. Right. What do you got going on right now besides this one we just talked about? What's behind us? It's a 34 Buick. He calls it a picnic car. In late 40s, 50s, straight eight, mm -hmm. a red valve, which Buick had in 34. Yeah. But it's got clutch chatter. Mm. As a matter of fact, I feel like it is. It looks like a spoon. It looks like a, you know, somebody's silverware. Uh, Leif is, are you from Norway? Yeah. Okay. You came all the way from Norway in a Mustang. So we claim. <laughs> but we actually landed in Chicago. Okay, so, because uh, Mustangs don't fly necessarily. No. National colors. All your friends are driving the Mustangs also. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But so you guys are driving red, white, and blue Mustangs. That's what we wanted. We ended up with two whites and the other. <laughs> Yes, we are all car buffs. Uh, we decided to go Route 66 oh, about four years ago mm -hmm. from Chicago uh, to the north end of Iowa into the South Dakota and then we went through the Badlands and the Black Mountains. And all in the Mustangs? Yeah, of course. And you're, and you're here at the Murphy Museum now? Yeah. What, what's been your best experience? Oh, that's difficult. Uh, the landscapes are phenomenal. Well, big thanks to David Neal for opening the museum up because it's closed right now. You're getting a private tour. And he's yes. the man. Yeah, he is the man. So, awesome. Thank All you. All right, great job. Really cool experience. Those guys from Norway were super cool. Yeah. They drove Route 66 all the way back, all the way from Chicago. All the way across in three convertible Mustangs. 
they're having a blast. Big thanks, David, uh, to Na David Neal at the Murphy Automotive Museum for that, that ride in that Cadillac. Spectacular. Oh, yeah. If you have a car and you need to, you would like to store it, uh, the amazing thing about storing it here at the Murphy is that the car gets detailed, I think, once a month. Really? Yes. So they take really good care of them, and it's just a beautiful uh, place to be able to check out some of these cars. Plus, you, it's, you store it, but it's not stored in a garage somewhere where nobody sees it. Yeah. You know, so everyone gets to appreciate it. It's really cool. All right, we're moving on. Let's... Vlog 443, I'm spent. <laughs>